Ah, 3D Experience World 2021. Woo! What's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. I'm right here at our new facility in Flower Mound, Texas. And I'm excited to bring a special message to everyone out there. Uh, 2021 is going to be a great year. We're going to solve problems. We're going to manufacture. We're going to bring in new technology and we're going to make it happen. So check this out. Life has been pretty crazy for me and my team for a little bit. Right before Christmas, we loaded up a ton of semi trucks. We put all of our machines, all of our company belongings, even grabbed our employees, grabbed their cars, and we went on a road trip from California to Texas to our new facility right behind me. As a shop owner, I take a lot of pride in the quality of the workspace that I give to our employees. So let's go in the shop. Check it out. Oh, welcome to the facility. It's a little quiet right now. Uh, we just placed all of the machines on the floor and we have more machines coming. And right now we're actually running the electrical to the machines. We're running the air to the machines, putting coolant in the machines and getting ready to manufacture. So right now, while it's a little quiet, I'm taking this time to get with you guys out there to give you a little inspiration, all right? Uh, right when we come in the door, first thing that we see is the Titan chess board with the titanium chess pieces. And yes, each chess piece represents curriculum to learn live tooling lays. So that's what the shop is now. It's like a hybrid company. It's an academy, a film studio, hence the black walls, crazy lighting and open space, right? And it's a high-end manufacturing facility. Now, if you guys actually follow Titans of CNC on YouTube, you guys know there's a crazy story behind our vision, our mission. I personally went from homelessness to boxing to prison to basically having no hope in life and then one day i walked into a machine shop i got behind a machine for nine dollars an hour and that day would change my life from that day forward i would be judged based on my productivity and not the mistakes of my past because at that moment i had no education i really had no hope i was happy getting a job for nine dollars an hour i went down to just hardware stores in different places and they wouldn't give me a job and all of a sudden i'm at this production facility with cnc machines and and robotics and they're making crazy parts for nasa and i literally looked at the owner and i said if i do good here i could actually rise and learn how to run these machines and he said absolutely titan i will always pay you what you're worth and at nine dollars an hour with two kids i got busy i got to work early i left late i asked for books i went to school i devoured everything i could about cnc machining and then the negative in my life right i was a boxer i had aggression i actually flipped it so instead of using all of it in a negative i channeled it into manufacturing when a lot of people were timid to run the machines and break something my head got mapped and i just understood the machine and I just started pushing it and pushing it and guess what I started making the company money my money rose all of a sudden I got my own car I got my own apartment I had something to lose and the farther I got away from incarceration I just became a different person and I walked out of that life into manufacturing boom in this big old space right here, we're gonna have a huge monster five axis machine, a DVF 8000. It's a five axis machine, but you can actually turn on it. So it's a lathe and a five axis all in one. It's a beast. We got our offices over there. We got the mega desk, the conference rooms, all that. Then we have a DVF 5000, five axis, and we got the robo drill with the robot because we're teaching full automation. You know, in my early days of manufacturing, my, my boss, Dave at Zinola Manufacturing back in Sunnyville, California, he gave me probably the best piece of advice ever. And that was, Titan, if you can solve people's problems, 
you will always be successful. And I've built my entire business on the foundation of those words. Let's serve people, let's serve our community, serve manufacturing and bring real solutions to real problems. Now, I was in prison, I walked into manufacturing and then the day would come where I would actually go into San Quentin prison next to the biggest death row in the entire country. And I'd actually speak to the inmates and guess what happened? The guards and the, even the warden said, we've never seen all these inmates sit so quietly and listen to one person. But you know what, at that moment I was qualified because I'd been incarcerated, I'd been where they're at, and now I was on the other side and my family was growing, my life was growing because of manufacturing and I built my own company. I could see both sides and I had the conviction to speak into their lives and tell them there is hope. There is a path forward, but you need to leave your past behind you. You need to step out of the negativity into the positivity. You need to solve problems, not for yourself, but for your family, for those that surround you, for the community. If you solve problems and bring real solutions, you will be successful. Now I tell everybody, San Quentin changed my life. I got to stand side beside those men. We tore down an old production facility and I came in and help them build a new facility. They wanted to put dark paint on the walls and I refused and I made them use bright white. I wanted everyone to walk into that facility in that prison and it be the shining light, the brightest place in the whole prison, a place of hope. I wanted each and every one of those men to understand and they actually learned this trade and how to machine intricate pieces for customers all of a sudden there'd be a foundation for their lives. And the more work that they actually put in and the more skills they developed and knowledge that they put in their head, the future would be bright. So we built the school in San Quentin prison. And, and through the process, I and my team actually developed our own curriculum because I looked out and there was nothing worthwhile. The greatest manufacturing powerhouses had never made a curriculum that everybody could use that was on a high level. All schools, all manufacturing companies, if you want to create training and solve the skills gap, here's the curriculum and here's the template that you can use to make it happen in your own shops, in your own schools, right? We took all the curriculum, we put it online, Titans of CNC Academy, and made it free for everyone completely changing how people looked at education and giving anyone that wanted to learn this trade an opportunity. And not only that, but we gave a vision to shop owners. We mentored the shop owners and showed them how to compete, how to make money, how to pay a better wage. And what's crazy is today, just a few years later, we have over a hundred thousand students on the academy you can actually go on to the academy go to the building blocks 10 awesome mill parts go to the rocket all the lathe parts and you can actually learn solid work step by step and actually create all of those parts that's something that i did different in cnc education i wanted them to know the part intimately so instead of just setting up programming and machining I added in design. So let's design the part, let's get to know it intimately, then we program it, and then we machine it. Oh man, I just heard the machine over here, the big old mill turn. That's the first machine to actually get turned on. So we got the new CRX robot, doing a video on this guy, full setup, unboxing, how to program it, all that coming to the academy. Who's ever looked at manufacturing education and said, you know what, let's not do the small machines. Let's do the small machines. Let's do the fundamentals. Let's show how to put a vise on and stone a table and do all of that. But let's bring in big old real horizontals. Let's bring in automation and robots. Let's teach on a huge level and give all that knowledge for free. Manufacturing is not what it used to be. It's not dirty and grimy, it is high tech. We're building crazy rockets that go to the space station. We're building autonomous cars, but most shops don't actually open their doors to show the public on how brilliant and amazing the industry is. Let's just unpackage the art of manufacturing so you can be successful. Before we end this video, I wanna give you the exact advice I got. 
serve people, serve your community, and solve people's problems, and you will be successful. I will also say a lot of the hardships in your life that maybe was a negative, maybe you should actually relook and rethink those experiences. Because maybe, like prison was for me, I used to be in prison, then I went into a prison and I changed people's lives, right? I have a son who's in the autism spectrum. And now because I'm qualified, I have a little bit of knowledge behind it. Now I journey forward to unlock the world of CNC machining and show people that people with autism can thrive in this world, right? Those are some examples from my life. What are your examples? Maybe, just maybe, that thing that happened is exactly what qualifies you to change other people's lives, to solve their problems. Uh, it's a mill, it's a lathe, all put together, huge parts, and it's for education. So we got machines all through here. We got more machines, we got grinding machines showing up. We got the big 8,000. We're gonna fill up the entire facility. It's gonna be incredibly grand. And guess what? It is all for you. Free manufacturing education for the masses in partnership with SolidWorks and their 3D experience. Boom, 3D experience world 2021. Let's go, baby. Boom.